Okay, I am going to be showing you just a basic demonstration of how to throw on the wheel, how to get it centered, and how to pull the walls up into a cylinder. Um, so I think I only have 10 minutes, so I'm going to try to get through this really fast, um, and let's get started. So here I have the wheel. This is called a bat gripper. This is called a bat. This bat gripper, you want to put under here to put the bat on top. The proper way to use this is you can get it wet. I have a bucket of water right here. I bring it out, I put it on the bat head. This just helps um, the bat to not knock around. Okay, it has these two little holes here. I will put these over the screws. Um, you wanna make sure the bat is dry and your clay is dry, okay? So, I'm going to take this clay, dry bat, dry clay, and I'm gonna try to slam it right down in the middle, as close as I can. Um, if you're a right-handed person, your wheel should be going counterclockwise. If you are left-handed, it will be going clockwise. Um, okay, so I slammed it on there. I'm actually going to push it down all around because I really want to make sure that it forms a suction because I do not want this to come off of that. Okay, I'm going to get it wet, get both my hands wet. I'm going to be going pretty fast at this point. My first step is I'm going to cone this up. Okay, my, I'm sitting close to the wheel, my stool is touching the wheel, my elbows are on my thighs where they will stay. I'm going to get my hands wet, you need lots of water. I am going to start by squeezing together using muscles and this will come up. This is what is called coning up. You don't have to focus on it too much. Notice I keep getting my hands wet in the bucket of water. This just preps us to get it centered. So we coned it up, now we want to get it centered. So I take my left hand, I'm going to be speaking for right-handed people. I take my left hand, I place it against um, the clay, I'm going to grab my thumb with my right hand and create this shape, okay? I'm going to start pushing down with my top hand, this hand up here. My left hand is applying a little bit of pressure to kind of support and guide it down. Because if I just push down, this thing's going to get all crazy. So. Um, Grab my thumb and I'm going to push down until my side hand or my left hand is touching the bat. All the way down you can see my hand is touching the bat. Um, and my goal, like I said, I'm going to cone it up a little bit and kind of come back and push down is to get it centered. So I'm going to show you what centered looks like um, and then we'll talk about how we got there. This is centered. Okay, It's spinning per evenly all the way around. My, it's going as fast as I can. My hands are around it and my hands are steady. This is not centered, okay? See how my hands are jiggling all around? Okay, so um, we want that to be in position so our hands are not going crazy all the way around. So I'm gonna kinda, cone, you can cone up as many times as you need to. I'm gonna cone that up a little bit and do the same hand position to get it centered, okay? Um, <clears throat> it's about the height of my hand. It, it's this kind of shape. And I need to check it off that you have it centered. And so in order for me to check it off that it's centered, I'm going to ask you to place your hands around here. Your hands should be still. If your hands are going fast like this or bumping around, it is not centered. So to check it off with me, it needs to be centered. I am pushing, pre applying pressure from this part of my hand and a little bit pushing down at this point until um, my left hand keeps applying pressure kind of from my back, my elbows are locked on my thighs, and I keep pushing until it is smooth. Then I make sure I slowly take my hands up. Okay? If you're letting this clay kind of jerk your shoulders around and you're kind of shaking, you want to plant those elbows on your thighs and really push from your back. Okay? Once you have it centered, the next thing you're going to do is open this up. So my left hand is going to stay locked and holding on the clay. My right hand my hands are connected. I'm going to push at a 45 degree angle. I can always see my fingernail, okay? Um, I push down, um, and you want to get to about that far to the bottom. You don't want to open all the way down to the bat, and you don't want to leave a real big, thick piece of clay. So you want to open about that far down to the bottom, and it's going to kind of look like a V-shape. I'm going to grab my computer here with these dirty hands and show you the inside. Okay, see how it's kind of like a V shape? We now need to open it up all the way. So I'm gonna take my hands, and where it's thick is where my like fingernails are, okay? So it's thick down here like this. This is the shape of it. The clay comes in, and 
then it comes out down here. So where it's thick, right down here, I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna squeeze it to my left hand. Okay, so I'm going from thick to thin. And that's the uh, motion I'm gonna do down here. Where my fingernails are, it's thick. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna squeeze my inside hand to my left hand and really open that up all the way. Let's see if I can grab my computer again. Okay, there. So now we have opened it all the way. This is what it needs to look like before you can pull those walls up. Um, so, there's different ways to pull up. Okay, also I got some kind of fingerprints in here. I'm just gonna take the sponge and push down to get rid of those. Once I have this open, I'm going to slow the wheel down because if I don't, if it's going fast, gravity is gonna wanna kind of pull it out. And we don't want that. We want this to stay a cylinder. Um, also, be careful when you're opening it that you don't move everything. Notice this is stayed perpendicular to the bat. Nothing it is wider. It is a cylinder. That is what you need. Okay, everything starts out as a cylinder on the wheel. So you, everything that we make, you will start out the same way. Cone it up, get it centered, open it up, open it all the way. Now we're going to pull the walls up. There's different ways to pull the walls up. I like to put my left hand on the inside, my right hand has a sponge, and I grab the outside. I use this part, this part of my inside hand, and I hold the sponge like this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the clay from both sides evenly, squeeze, and both hands are going to come up together, okay? There's different ways to pull up. This is one way I like to. So whenever you pull up, you always start from the bottom, and you go all the way to the top. So you can kind of see I'm grabbing that clay, and I'm bringing this all the way up. It's getting thinner and it's getting taller. Once I go around the top lip, you want to ease around that and go carefully around. I'm going to do another one. What I'm looking for is my walls to get pretty thin and stay even. So again, I'm going to grab all the way from the bottom and I'm going to pull this all the way to the top. Okay, I, you do as many pulls as you need to until your wall is where it should be. The walls are where it should be. Not too thick, not too thin. And what I kind of will ask myself is let's say this was to be a cup or a mug. Is it going to be a thick, chunky, heavy mug or would I be able to lift it and drink out of it carefully and nicely? I'm going to do another pull. So I'm going all the way from the bottom. I am pinching and both hands are coming up at the same time. Okay, so everything is going to start out as a cylinder. Notice my walls, it doesn't look like a bowl already. It is still a cylinder. I have a lot of water in here, so I'm going to use the sponge to kind of get it out. Um, for some reason, the way it's spinning, it looks really wobbly. It's not. But if your top was to get uneven, you can take the needle tool. You want to anchor your elbows in place. You kind of start below the lip and you slowly go until it catches your finger and then you can take that top right off and make sure you have a nice even um, lip. I'm going to get it one more time. I'm going to do one more pull. When you're pulling, all that matters is even pressure is coming from both sides. That is what you need to pull successfully. Okay. Um, some people like to pull with their left hand out here, right hand inside, and they're squeezing both hands and coming up like that. There are many different ways. Um, I'm going to make this into a bowl since that is what your first project is going to be. But everything we make in here is going to be a cylinder. So you're first going to get it checked off that it's centered. Second will be that you can pull up the walls. Um, but just to show you, because we still have another minute here, I'm going to get my hand wet and I'm just going to stretch that out. Okay, into a bowl. Um, I'm about to run out of time, so I'm just going to quickly finish here. The last thing you want to do is you take your wire cutter, you smooth it out, you grab it tight, wrap it around, cut from the back to the front, put your initials on your bat with the slip, and then you will cover this to let it get leather hard. But you want to make sure you always cut it off the bat twice. Once right when you're done throwing, and then another time when it's leather hard, you run the wire cutter through again. 